Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about exporting your character creator 3 character into Unreal Engine. So we're going to talk a little bit about optimizing the materials on your character in Unreal Engine in this tutorial. And in the second part of the tutorial we're going to talk about using the Insta LOD tool to uh, basically incorporate different, different levels of detail uh, on different levels of character in Unreal Engine. Okay, so let's take a look at our character first here in Character Creator. You can see we have this beautiful Huntress character with her uh, leather tunic, leather cloak, whatever it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mesh. So I'm going to go ahead and select all the items here in our scene manager. Just uh, shift select everything and change from shaded mode, normal mode here to wireframe on shaded. You can see here, fairly simple stuff, right? Fairly basic mesh. Um, already fairly optimized for in-game usage, but we'll talk about how we can adjust that further using Insta LOD. All right, I'm going to change this all back to normal shading mode. And in Character Creator Base, we can use the Alt-2 hotkey to toggle wireframe mode on and off, just like this. All right, there you go. So fairly basic stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about exporting the character. I'm going to go ahead to File and Export and FBX, Clothed Character. So uh, in Unreal here, we're going to choose, rather, for the Target Tool preset, we're going to choose Unreal, since we are exporting to Unreal. And we have optimized settings for that. We're going to embed the textures. Include a motion, you can choose your frame rate right here, all the standard frame rates. 30 frames per second is fairly standard for uh, game engine usage. And custom motion, I'm going to just choose this Huntress motion I already have prepared. You can load it up here if you want. And it's just an idle motion. Let's delete that one. We only need one. Okay, and we're going to choose Insta LOD. Now we're going to talk about the Insta LOD more in the second part of this tutorial. Uh, but make sure we go ahead and choose Remesher. Uh, keep original avatar. We're going to choose four different levels of detail meshes. Okay. The first one, we're going to choose a custom maximum face of 70,000. Okay. So you can see it'll be a slight reduction from the 105,000. We'll change this to 7,000. The mesh detail, we're going to keep that high and we're going to keep, keep a 2048, uh, 2048 texture size. Okay. Let's go to level two here. That's going to be the, the highest fuzzy target here as well for the highest level uh, poly count. Uh, it's going to reduce it slightly. We'll keep the mesh details at high, and we'll also keep the texture size at 2048. Now for level 3 and level 4, for the fuzzy target for level 3, I'm going to choose high. Okay, we're gonna, not going to choose highest, we're going to choose high. Mesh details, we're going to keep this high as well, and we'll choose 1024. And finally, level 4, we're going to go ahead and choose normal and normal for the mesh details and the fuzzy target face count. And we're going to choose 1024 for this as well. Now, luckily, I already have this uh, saved in the uh, Explorer folder here. So I've exported all of these. And this is what you're, what's going to happen when you export. You're going to get the FBX file right here. It's going to generate an FBM.FBM folder here. Now, the FBM folder, uh, the level of detail zero, by the way, is the original avatar. So if you have Keep Original Avatar selected, you're going to have this level of detail zero, and that's the original FBX. Okay, and you're going to have an FBM folder that contains, you know, uh, the, the basic materials of your character, the diffuse and the normals. Okay, and if we go to the uh, base folder here, there's also a textures folder that's exported. And in the textures folder, that's going to contain a whole bunch of different materials. All right, so if we go here, you can see we have the base for the body. Let's just take a look at this. For example, the head, we'll talk about this later. We have the AO, ambient occlusion, the metallic and the roughness map. And we're going to have to import all of these in uh, custom a little bit later on. Okay, but uh, we don't need to export that right now. We can actually close this down and go directly into Unreal. All right, so in Unreal here, I have this project loaded up. You can download this for free from the Unreal uh, Marketplace. So I'll briefly go over to the uh, Epic Launcher here just to show you where you can find it. You go over here to Marketplace. And in Marketplace, you'll have some free stuff that'll appear at the top here. And in under free, it's about uh, a little, little bit further down here. Make sure it loads up. And there should be a soul cave somewhere here. There you go, soul cave. So just add that to your cart, download it, and then go to your library. And at the very bottom of your library, you should have the vault. And you can just add the soul cave to your current project, and it'll add that folder. Just go ahead and close this down. It'll add this soul cave folder, and you can load up the maps from uh, the maps and all that stuff. Okay, we've already loaded that up. So what I'm going to do first is in our main content folder, I'm going to create a couple of subfolders here to prepare for my import. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and right click and new folder. We'll call this CC underscore avatar. And in this CC avatar folder, 
Okay, another new folder called materials. Okay, and in the materials folder, we're gonna create another subfolder called textures. Okay, so I'll try and keep uh, this organized. All right, it'll be a little bit complex a little bit later on. Let's make sure we remove that filter there. Okay, so uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and back to our explorer folder now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import in my character into the textures folder. It doesn't really matter where I import it in, but we're gonna import in Huntress Zero, LOD, okay? So the original, the OG FBX file. Let's just bring that in and go over here to Unreal. There you go. Okay, so the skeletal mesh, import mesh, we do, we do wanna have those selected. Um, we do wanna have all these other things selected here as well. Import mesh, bone hierarchy, smooth and groups. Uh, important here is for normal import method, you choose import normals and tangents. Okay, uh, and everything else should be okay. Import animations for exported time. Yep. Okay, and you also want to import your materials and your textures. And then just go ahead and select import all. All right, and we'll come back in just a sec when it's finished importing. All right, there we go. And I'll just have a couple of notifications. We don't need to worry about those for now. All right, so we have everything in this textures subfolder here. Let's take our skeleton, the physics asset, and the skeletal mesh and move them to our main folder, our base folder there. All right, just by clicking and dragging. And then we can just search for uh, materials for our filter. Let's just choose materials here. Okay, only materials and just control A, select everything and move all the materials here to our materials folder. There we go. All right, so we can just uh, take rid of that filter here. There we go. All right, so these are our uh, textures right now. And also what we're gonna do is in the textures folder, I'm gonna import in those textures that I showed you earlier from the uh, explorer window here in this uh, textures folder here. So I'm gonna go into textures, Huntress LOD zero, and we can just, you know, click and drag. We can just take the whole folder in, uh, basically. Let's just click and drag the whole folder into the textures subfolder here. All right, there you go. So you have a Huntress LOD. Don't worry about all the custom and all the subfolders right here. We'll try and keep things simple. We'll just minimize everything to the main Huntress LOD zero folder here, okay? You can see the subfolders down here. So now the first thing that we need to do is in this Huntress LOD folder, we're gonna search for cornea. All right, and we have a cornea, metallic, and roughness. So, so the cornea, the skin body, and the skin head are what we need to modify slightly. And I'll show you what we need to do here. We need to uh, select both of them here for the metallic and roughness, right click, and just go ahead and edit them. Now just one little thing we need to do, just deselect sRGB for both of these. And once we've done that, just go ahead and save them, okay? Uh, because what's going to happen is, is if we have sRGB selected, the texture is going to be overexposed on the character and it's not going to look very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that for the cornea. We'll close that down and do the same thing for skin underscore body. Okay, uh, AO, metallic and roughness, shift select, and just right click, edit them all. Same thing. So just uh, sRGB, deselect, metallic, deselect, ambient occlusion, deselect and save, and finally for the head, skin underscore head, we're gonna do the same thing. Shift, select, right click, edit, okay? You may have to do this a lot if you have uh, a lot of characters, but make sure you just go ahead and save it after every uh, deselection of the sRGB there, okay? And you should be good to go. Okay, there we go. So now what we need to do is we need to find those materials and we need to add in all those extra textures, okay? So for skin head, here's our material right here. Um, let's all, we can also just go ahead and select our avatar. Let's do that for now. Let's uh, close down, take off our filters with our main folder here. Take off all this stuff. There we go, okay. Now we can find our skeletal mesh. So let's double click on the skeletal mesh and take a look at what our character looks like before the change, okay? Now let's just maximize it here. You can see she has kind of like those uh, demon eyes from the TV show Supernatural, just black like that, or X-Files or whatever, you know, kind of weird, creepy black eyes there. So let's go ahead and fix the corneas first. So over here in our materials, we can just search cornea. There you are. You can see they're fairly black. Let's just go ahead and double click that material so we can edit it. And you can see here, we just have this base color map. All right, so the cornea is kind of like a layer for this particular character. It's a layer on top of the actual eye. So we need to do a couple things here. Let's just go ahead and right click, add a constant, okay? And uh, I'm gonna give that a value of 0 0.3. And we're gonna attach that to the opacity. All right, so where's the opacity? Oh, we need to make sure we do a couple things here first for the cornea settings. 
So in the cornea, what we want to do is we want to go to our blend mode and change our blend mode to translucent. All right, uh, where we are, blend mode, here we go, opaque, and change that to translucent, okay? Since the cornea is going to be translucent. And further down, under translucency, we have a lighting mode. We're going to change the lighting mode to surface translucency volume, okay? Just like that. And then you pretty much should be good to go once you've added in that uh, value there, the constant. And just go ahead and click and drag that into the opacity channel. There we go. So we need to bring in the uh, two maps there, the metallic and the roughness maps. We don't have an ambient occlusion for the cornea. So let's go over here. Uh, let's actually just uh, minimize this a little bit there. And go over here to cornea. Let's just type in cornea. There we go. So there's our metallic and our roughness maps. Let's go over here. Shift select both of those and we'll bring them in just like this. There we go. Now we can maximize this one. And let's just get everything organized here. This one here is the roughness. So we'll pump that into the roughness channel right there. This one here is a metallic. All right, and you can, you know, organize this nice and pretty if you want. But I'm kind of a rebel. I'll just leave them all willy-nilly here. All right, there we go. A little bit organized. But once, we're, once we have that, we can go ahead and save it. And once we have that saved, our character's eyes should look perfect. And there's our new corneas. You can kind of see through them to the little school, whatever it is there in the background, little office building. Okay, we'll close down that material. And there you go. We can zoom in on our character's uh, eyes. Let's get a little bit closer there. There you go. Cornea modification accomplished. Okay, so we need to do the same thing for the, uh, the, the skin for the head and the skin for the body. So let's just go ahead and uh, load up the uh, skin. Uh, if I can just skin head, not skin head, skin underscore head. There we go. Let's just go ahead and double click on that material. So load it up here and bring this over. So we need to load in all those maps that were in the texture folder of our original character. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's minimize this a little bit here. And let's just type in skin underscore head. All right, so we need to bring in the ambient occlusion, the metallic, and the roughness maps. Okay, we'll bring those in just like this. You can see the base color and the normal maps are already there. Let's just go ahead, click and drag them in, and place them into position. Line them up, boys. All right, so here we have the, which one is this? This is the uh, roughness map, so we'll just pipe this into roughness. There we go. This one here is the metallic. There we go. And this one here will be the ambient occlusion. So we'll pump that in down there. And there we go. Just so that nothing's crisscrossing. We'll kind of keep it simple there. Well, maybe normal we'll put. Uh, all this stuff is so... There we go. All right. <laughs> Just so nothing's crisscrossing. All right. All right. So our base color, metallic, roughness, normal. And down here we have the ambient occlusion. All right. Good stuff. So then, go, then again, we just go ahead and save that. You can see the uh, material right here. All right. Looks kind of weird, but uh, ooh, that's the way it is. Go ahead and save that. And finally, we'll do the same thing for the body. So skin head is all finished. Go ahead and uh, do the same thing for the body. So skin underscore body. And also search for it here. Botany, there we go. And double click that, load it in, and our ambient occlusion, metallic and roughness maps. We need to bring those in just like that. And same thing again. So basically just pipe them all into the correct uh, place. Roughness will be above normal. Oop. There we go. And this one here is ambient occlusion. In case you're wondering, you can see the, the name of the texture over here. In case you're wondering how I know that stuff just by simple appearance. Uh, and this one is metallic, so this one goes under the base color. Zoop, right there. All right, no crisscrossing this time. Okay, so that's basically all you wanna do, and then from that point on, just go ahead and uh, save it. And you can take a quick look at the uh, material on the body. Ooh, there we go, okay. <laughs> Got a big belly and stuff there. All right, and just go ahead and close that down. And here's our uh, finalized character with the materials all set up. Okay, so that's really about all there is for this tutorial, guys. Uh, in part two of this tutorial, like I mentioned, we're going to talk about uh, importing in the different LODs and how to use those, how to incorporate them into your Unreal project. So stick around for that. If you have any questions, you can always check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com as well. All right, so hope to see you in the next video.